Once upon a time, there lived a professor. He was known as an extremely knowledgeable person. There were many researches named after him in the field of philosophy. The professor had always been interested in martial arts and wanted to learn more about it. One day, he decided to visit a famous Japanese martial arts master to learn the pearls of his wisdom. He then set off the next day to meet the martial arts master. When he reached the master's place, his disciples took him to the room of the martial arts master. The martial arts physical appearance was friendly and his spirit was lofty. His face was shimmering and lots of positive energy could be felt around him. This made the professor feel relaxed. After watching his visitor, the martial arts master asked the professor the reason for his visit. The professor said, I have come to ask you to teach me about martial arts. The master said to the professor, You are known for your knowledge everywhere. Please share something with me. The professor started telling the martial arts master about his research in different fields, one by one. After some time, he started sharing his knowledge about martial arts. The martial arts master listened to him silently for about an hour. A few minutes later in their conversation, it was very clear that the professor had his mind completely full and convinced of his own views, opinions, and knowledge on martial arts. The master then interrupted and asked the professor if he would like to enjoy some tea. Knowing he should accept, the professor smiled and thanked the martial arts master for his generosity. One of the master's disciples disappeared and then quickly reappeared with two cups and some steaming tea. He set the tea down on a table between the master and the professor. The tea was served in a kettle along with two cups. The master started pouring the tea into a cup and smiling towards the professor. The professor continued sharing his knowledge on martial arts to the master. The master was pouring the tea slowly and slowly and the cup got filled fully, but he did not stop and kept pouring the tea in the cup. The tea started overflowing on the table. The professor noticed it and continued to watch as it overflowed. Soon the tea started pouring onto the robes of the professor and he could no longer hold himself back. The professor put his hand up and exclaimed, Stop! Can't you see? The cup is already full. It's overflowing. No more will go in. The martial arts master did not stop and still he kept pouring tea. The professor got angry and rushed towards the gate and the master called him. Professor, please, listen. But the professor did not stop. The master ran behind him and stopped him. The master calmly explained to him the reason why he kept pouring the tea in the cup. Even after it overflowed, the martial arts master said, you came here to ask me questions, yet you come full. You have your own thoughts and have no space. Until you have room for more, you will not accept new information. You are like that cup of tea. How can I teach you more unless you first empty your cup? In life, you need to stay humble. Open yourself to new ideas. Be willing to change your preconceptions and be receptive to new learning. Even though you may be full of knowledge, you should always be open to the fact that there is still more to learn. You need to learn the art of unlearning. Empty your cup so that you can learn new things. Preconceived ideas and prejudices always prevent us from seeing the truth. Bruce Lee, an American martial artist, once said, Empty your cup so that it may be filled. Become devoid to gain totality. This inspirational story also shows the approach we should have in conflict resolution and communication. We should allow the other person to speak and express his or her grievances or point of view. If you will start telling your concerns, the person at the other end will never listen to what you have to say. First, empty his cup and listen to his or her concerns. Once that's done, it will not only help you understand his or her view, but also help you to make him or her listen to what you want to communicate. It emphasizes the importance of listening and communication. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more from me.